Welcome future Robo Masters. It's time for class. Today, we're going to assemble the RoboMaster EP Engineer form. First, we'll need to mount the chassis on the RoboMaster S1 right here. To do that, you can check out another video we left in the description, how to assemble the RoboMaster S1. After that, we'll want to mount the chassis extension platform right here. To do that, we're first going to insert two M3F hex studs in the two holes here at the rear of the chassis upper cover. Now, we installed the hex studs. We're going to take the chassis extension platform. Look here at the two protrusions. Those will go right over those hex studs we just put in. There will be two holes aligned between the extension platform and the chassis. Here, we're going to tighten two screws to secure the extension platform in place. Step three, we're going to mount the robotic arm base. So, here we have the robotic arm base. See this part here, the uneven side? That needs to face the forward side of the RoboMaster, just like this. All right, remember that. Now, on the right side, we're going to tighten four M3G hex studs in the four corners are on this right side. See, one, two, three, four. Now, we have the four M3G hex studs in the four corners. We're going to install the servo. So, place this servo so that the wires face forward and align it so that it fits in place. And then you'll fix it in place with four screws. Next, we're going to match this servo gear buffer with the first link robotic arm. So, check out the robotic arm here. Look at this section here with the four holes. That will go with this servo gear buffer. So we'll take the servo gear buffer and insert it into the outside of the arm. Next, we'll tighten two M3A screws on the inside to secure these two parts together. Now, we're going to mount this first link robotic arm onto the robotic arm base. Let's make a little space here. So, this hole here will fit right into the hole of the servo, just like that. It's almost snap in place. And then, we'll take one M3B screw and we'll secure it on the inside. Now we're going to mount this little piece here, eh? the robotic arm support base. Hold it so that this hole faces outward, like so, see? And then there's two holes here on the robotic arm base. Align the holes, these pegs here, of the support base with those holes, just like that. Oh yeah. Then you'll put in two screws underneath to secure it in place. Now, we're going to mount the servo gear here to the second servo. It's very easy. You take the servo gear and put it right in there. Then, we'll tighten it in place with an M3A screw. We're going to mount this second link robotic arm connecting rod to the servo gear. So, Check out, it has four holes here on one side. 
you're going to align those holes with the holes on the servo gear. Make sure that this part with the large hole is facing upward. Then we'll tighten it in place again with four screws. Now we're gonna pass this connecting rod through this hole in the robotic arm base like so. Whoa. And there will be a peg here that matches the holes. Push it in. Bam. Then we'll put in four screws to tighten the servo into the hole. Hold the second link robotic arm so that this printed R faces up. Take the camera and make sure the DJI is legible here. Place it right here and underneath we'll tighten two M3C screws. Make sure they're M3C screws, okay? Otherwise, the camera might be damaged. All right, now we're gonna take the second link arm and attach it to the first link arm. So take the second link arm and insert it inside the first link arm just like that. And then we're going to take this, the second link robotic arm long rod, and we're going to push it through these aligned holes just like this. Now we're going to take an M3E screw and fix everything in place. And now we're going to place the short rod, the second link arm short rod, through the top two holes of the second link arm. This time we're going to go from left to right. And then we'll use an M3C screw to secure it in place. Now we're going to attach the number three connecting rod. Hold the connecting rod so that the printed number three faces outward. We're going to place it right here on the robotic arm. So, it should align with this hole here and this hole here, see? And then we'll place in two screws to secure it in place. And then, to fit this number two connecting rod and limit block onto the robotic arm base, we'll take a screw and fit it snugly right into this side of the robotic arm base, like so. All right, now take this, the robotic arm triangle link. Three sides, find the shortest side right here. This side will face forward. Then we'll position the triangle link on the right side of the robot arm. The rear facing hole of the triangle link should align with the hole of the number two connecting rod. And on this bottom hole of the triangle link, there will be a hole connecting it to the robotic link arm. Now. Tighten a screw in each of the two holes to secure the link in place. Next, we're going to mount the robotic arm endpoint bracket. Check this out. There's a slope side here. That side will face inward. So, mount it on the bottom hole of the second link arm like this. Then, we'll tighten a screw in each side to secure it in place. And now, we're going to install the number one connecting rod. Again, place it so that the number one faces outward. Now, we're going to line this in two ways. First, with this hole here on the endpoint bracket. Secondly, on the inside here of the triangle link. Just like that. And then, once again, we'll use two screws to mount it in place. All right, now, finally, we get to install the gripper. There's four holes here on the gripper. We're going to take that and put it right here by the endpoint bracket underneath it at the front four holes. Then we'll tighten it in place with four screws. Now we're going to place the speaker and the speaker support extension underneath the robotic arm base. Place the speaker here and fit it inside the support extension 
so that it fits snugly in place. And now, we're going to put it underneath the robotic arm base. See this big hole on the support extension? That is going to face forward. Put it just underneath the robotic arm base like that, and we secure it in place with a screw on the forward and back side. Next, we're going to mount seven cable clamps, this little piece here, as shown. Next, we'll connect the black 30 centimeter camera extension cable to the camera. Fix it in place alongside the number three connecting rod with the cable clamps as shown. Then, pass the cable through this part here. Then, we'll mount this little piece with a robotic arm cable fixer right above the cable here on the robotic arm base and we'll fix it in place with two screws underneath it to fix the cable in place. Now take this, the extension cable, connect the appropriate end into the back side here of the gripper. Then, run this cable through the two cable clamps on the second link arm. Just like that, and there. Then, there's a hole here on the first link arm. We'll run the cable through that hole once, and then we'll wrap it around one more time. Yeah. Now, get this cable here. This is the bottom cable on the right servo. We're going to connect it into the extension cable, just like so. All right, and then attach the cable to the two cable clamps inside the first link arm. Perfect. Now we'll take the upper cable on the right servo and the cable that fits with it on the left servo, right here. Fit them into the robotic arm base hole, just like that, so that they fit snugly. Then, connect the two cables together. Next, we'll take this, the L-shaped extension cable. See, here's L. And connect it to the machine right here, the M0 interface. Then, we have to run it through the bottom of the chassis, through the middle frame. Oof. Now, we'll run it through again, up to the top. Aha! Then, we're going to take this entire robotic arm module, place it in the center, right here, of the extension platform. You'll have one more cable from the left servo, we're going to connect that to this cable, the L-shaped extension cable. Then we're going to place it into the cable clamp so that it fits snugly. And finally, we'll use four screws to fix the robotic arm module on to the chassis extension platform. Next, we're going to tighten two screws into the back cover right here. Now, here's the rear extension platform. We're going to place it on the rear and tighten four screws in to secure it. Next, we'll place the intelligent controller on the rear platform. Make sure the antennas are facing the rear, just like this. To fix it in place, we'll tighten in four screws. Next, we're going to connect cables to the intelligent controller. We'll start here with the camera cable. Fit it right here into the intelligent controller. In addition, you'll have the speaker cable.
pass it underneath this rear extension platform and also plug in the speaker cable. Next, we'll take a data cable, connect it into this side of the intelligent controller, and then we'll pass it through the chassis rear armor. Pass it through the middle of the armor, like so. And then connect it inside here to the hit detector. Just like that. Make sure all the cables are organized and secure nicely in place as well. As part of that, we're going to install this, the chassis cabin cover underneath the RoboMaster. Right here, we'll install four screws. Now you have to remember, don't lift the robot by the arm. That could cause damage. Also, when the arm is moving, don't touch it. Otherwise, you might hurt your fingers. And finally, do not forcefully push on the arm as it may cause damage to the servo gear. After completing all these steps, the assembly of the entire vehicle is complete. Check one more time that all the wiring is secure and make sure all the components are mounted in place. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button if this tutorial was helpful. If you need any support with your DJI gear, feel free to contact us via Facebook Messenger by following the link in the description.